Hello YouTube, I'm Joey and we're going to go over the top apps of April 2016 for all Android Wear devices, but I specifically have the Asus Zen Watch 1 here, which I no longer recommend by the way. So we have six apps, two watch faces, two games, and two kind of utility apps. Alright YouTube, so before we jump right into this, I'd like to mention that I have 281,000 views and not even 300 subscribers as you can tell there. So if you guys want to help me fix that, that'd be super cool. And you know, it's up to you. So let's jump right in like I said before and let's go over the top apps. Originally had six apps for you guys, but while recording this video, I got infuriated at my watch because it kept turning off when I was trying to make this video. So I just bought another app I may have showed you before. It's called Stay Lit for Wear. And basically what it's going to do is let you change the timeout settings on your device. So it doesn't go to sleep in two seconds. Pretty great, right? So there's also a setting for it right here, stay lit where you can click on it and then you can change the timeout on your device. With that said YouTube, I have had a really hard time with this little Zen watch and I'm going to factory reset it after this video and hopefully it gets a little less terrible. So you can choose how long you want your device to time out for. I'm going to go ahead and do 5 minutes so it doesn't screw me here. And then we can jump right into the watch faces. So the first one is called Form. Watch face, it's very simple as you can tell, there's a digital watch face, you can have the date on there, and there's a bunch of different colors, there's blue, red, and I don't know the rest of them, I'm not going to tell you because I might lie and could be wrong. Basically, it's very simple and it has really cool animations when the time changes. I'm trying to talk so that the time can change and you can see it, but that might not happen, so we're going to have to jump right into the next watch face. The next watch face is called LED with weather. And I've tried to show you guys it before, but a long time ago it wasn't working properly, so I had to kind of just give up on that. But it does cost a dollar or two. It's a very great watch face. It has all types of different settings and stuff. So as you can tell down here, we have the max temperature and min temperature, latitude and longitude. If you don't want that, you can change it. You can click on it and you can scroll through all types of different things. Min and max temperature, which is kind of not useful when it's right there. But as you can tell, this just goes on forever. There's all types of different settings you can have there. If you click in the center, it'll take you to another page with all types of weather information. Very nice watch face. With that said, let's jump into the two games. The first game, all right, done with that thing, no more. The first game is called Loop. It's called Infinite Loop, I think, actually, and it's also a game on your Android, on your phone, but I'm just going to play it on here because I don't really like games on my phone that much because, uh, you know, I have a gaming computer. But as you can tell, you basically just make a loop out of these things. Um, I'm on a pretty high level right now, so it's not that easy. We're not going to be able to finish this one probably. Maybe we will. Maybe this is all it wants us to do. Is this all it wants us to do? This game makes you feel good about yourself because it's really easy. So definitely check that out. It's free. The next application is called Papercraft. We are going to scroll down and find it here somewhere. And when I'm mentioning this and trying to find it, I'd like to say I've tried to delete a lot of these apps on my phone and they won't disappear on my watch. So that's why we're going to be resetting it today. So basically, that is your paper craft. What you will do is shoot to these little thingies coming at you, little triangles and circles and octagons, all types of crazy stuff. Basically, this is a very well, like a lot of people have downloaded this app, so I figured I'd finally check it out. And I definitely like it. It's a simple game. A little more uh, going on than the last game, but it's straightforward and I like it. It gets, it gets a little hard here in a second. I'm going to play it until it gets a little challenging. You have to like tap the screen so that the little spaceship goes on the other side to shoot the, the blocks, whatever you want to call them. Circles, blocks, whatever makes you happy, guys. Go ahead and call them that. So my high score is a thousand, so if we can pass that right now, that is going to be a accomplishment. But, so this is the only two games I have for you guys this month. Uh, I mean, it's a lot better than any other games out there right now for, for smartwatches, like the Apple Watch, or for my Gear S2, there are no games at all that are fun, and I just died. You get the point. Very challenging. Great game. The next application we're going to do is an app I've kind of showed you before. It's like a PDF reader for your device, but... The one I used to show you, I've showed you before, guys, doesn't work for me anymore. I don't know what happened. Maybe it never worked for you, too. It doesn't work anymore. So I had to buy one. It's called Documents for Android Wear. It's actually free, but if you want to have more than one page, it's going to cost you a dollar. I have some physics on here, and you can have basically unlimited pages in the document, and you can scroll through them and zoom in and zoom out. 
beautiful application, works great. I have tons of documents. Basically, all the documents that you have on your phone will be on your device. So you can just go look at anything you want and it'll pop up on here to download it. You can save it to your watch so that you don't have to bring your phone with you if you want to look at these PDFs. Great application, couldn't recommend it enough. The next application is called Smartware Status. Now I'm gonna have to show it to you on my phone, but it also has a setting on here so you can look at it. Basically, this app isn't released yet. It's still in beta. And if you want to use it, you'll have to join their community on Google Plus, and then they'll send you the link to go download it. I'd recommend it because it's very cool. You can basically change settings from your watch on your phone. So as you, that, that, that was the setting here. I mean, you can change the brightness. I mean, I don't know why I'd want to do this from uh, this menu, but basically you want to do it from your phone. I'll show you what it's like on your phone. But that's it, guys. Those are all the apps. I'm going to show you what that app works like on my phone, and then that'll be the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next month. Smartware status has a lot of potential. For now, the main use I find for it is changing the brightness on my watch from my phone instead of navigating through the menus on my watch, which can sometimes take a while. That's it guys, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.